Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! <gasps> the Living Stones! They probably brought back food! <laughs> Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? Hey, what's the point of a carrot? You can't eat. They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look. <laughs> Well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you'll launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Ta-ha! There it is! Wash? Sure, it's you, Wash. I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away. You don't recognize me? It's Magnus. Hey, Magnus, of course. <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry. Hey, what? Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is Wash acting weird to you? Uh -oh. uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? Magnus is a wild guy, 100%. The Living Stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy. Everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. You're right. We've got to help Magnus. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop! Are you crazy? That's my bull! Domestic life has rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl, and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow, meow, meow. 
<laughs> Hilarious! Do it again! Meow! Meow! Yay! My kibble! Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? <sighs> it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? <sighs> That's a uh, Vic. Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna run! Who's he, your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. <laughs> Hey, Wash! You there? Over here! I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage! What? That's not fair! Magnus has already eaten my share! There's no way I'm sacrificing myself! Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about, making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You <laughs> couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again. No? <laughs> Is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First you have to ask the masters. Oh, uh -huh. this is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> You haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. Wash, you gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see there's a fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! That's you right, you're you're right. Right. Hey. hey, look! If it isn't, why? Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I got to talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kind of need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you got to do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. 
<sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Wash was wrong! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream. Shall we move things up a gear? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah, that's <laughs> the Washington Good we know and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> 19, 19. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, <laughs> climb aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Thanks for having to them. A lot of traffic today, and... What? I just had an amazing idea for a game! <sighs> just wait! Sorry, Eugenie, but we never understand your games. But this one's really easy. It's a TV Rebus. I zap from channel to channel, and we have to understand the words from the pictures. I'll show you. Car becomes dive. While chasing this car. Sometimes wild animals venture into Stop! the sea where they... Don't change channels! Worst of all, they bring with them a whole host of diseases transmissible to humans. I've had it. Always the same old baloney. Foxes are so wild. They loot the trash. They carry diseases. Don't worry, Wash. We know that foxes are great guys. Mm. Hey, how about we create a documentary to redeem the good name of foxes everywhere? I could show the world what incredible animals we really are. I'm going to need your help. Yeah. Nobody's interested in my game. Eugenie, you're my go-to camera girl, okay? Really? Uh, hmm? Yay! Let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> hey, Vic, want to play in our documentary? Do I want to act? I am a born actress. Great! We needed walk-on parts. <sighs> Everybody in position and action! <laughs> Vic, out of the way! You're hogging the mm -hmm. shot! So what? <laughs> Cut! That's great! Two more scenes like that and the show is in the can! do some editing. Ugh. Anyway, your crummy documentary doesn't deserve talent like mine. Crummy? My documentary is not crummy. Is it? <laughs> wow! Eugenie, your documentary is awesome! Thanks a million, buddies! Because of you, Fox's reputation ratings everywhere will go through the roof! Did you see that, honey? I always thought foxes were aggressive, solitary animals. But he is so cute! I just want to bring him home and make him ours! Hey! You're not gonna take your costume off, are you? 
Why not? You heard him. The Livingstones want to adopt a fox, which is pretty handy because I am a fox. Wash, what if they change their minds when they see you for real? You'd get yourself sent straight back to the forest. I hear your anguish, Sam, but as my grandfather used to say, when the fox gets tough, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, the fox is mightier than the door? No, but what was it he used to say? Whatever! So, are you taking your costume off or not? <laughs> uh, hear that, honey? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's even cuter than on the video! Watch out, honey! He's still a wild animal! No, look! He's totally harmless! You see? How about we adopt him? We do already have five animals. Six will be way too much. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Enjoy your meal, little fella. Look at the wild guy who got taken in and tamed. Bravo! You're a genius, Wash. And it's all thanks to me. If my acting in that video hadn't been so good, you'd never have gotten to take off your costume. <laughs> So, guys, costume's not feeling too tight? <laughs> yeah, mine is. So I'm going to take it off, too. Yeah, no, don't. <laughs> Why not? Huh? I had to use ruse and cunning before I got to take mine off. First, I made videos, and then... Hey, I can make videos, too. Coming, Eugenie. We're going to redeem the good name of wild boars everywhere. Sam, I don't think it'll work. Foxes kind of look like dogs, but wild boars will always look scary to humans. Very well. If that's the way it is, I shall redeem the good name of Wild Boars all by myself. Okay, my name's Sam, and I'm a wild boar. I know who I am and where I'm at, and I can tell you that wild boars are some of the nicest around. I gotta say, I love myself. Yeah. That is totally lame, pitiful, and pathetic. But give me the lead role, and I can guarantee your video will get 20 times more hits than Wash's did. Wash! Wash! Washington! I've looked everywhere. He's disappeared. Don't panic. Maybe he's in the garden. Wash! Wash! Washington! It's weird. We haven't seen him since the fox arrived. You think that the fox has frightened him off? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you are, boy. We were worried sick. No more shenanigans like that. You're going to make up with your new fox friend. And I can think of nothing better than a game of flying discs to get buddy buddy. Right. We'll do the same as Wash. You choke on some kibble, only this time I'll cruise it's in okay. and... okay. I get it. No need to explain my vocation to me. And action! Ooh. Shoot! What was it Wash did already? <laughs> Say, where's the fox gone? <laughs> ah, there it is! Catch! <laughs> Woe is me! Vic? You okay, Vic? Vic, talk to me, Vic! <sighs> oh, Who do you think you are, Acorn Brain? Don't try to get chummy with me! But I thought that... I was acting, you pea brain! Pure cinema! But if that's the way it is, do it yourself! Where's the little fox? Little fox? Little fox! Oh, there you are. You'll be famous. It's going to be amazing. A documentary about wild boars. All you have to do is pretend to... You. Yeah? Our little fox's first breakfast. How sweet. I know. How cute would it be to adopt him a little friend? 
to do that at the pound. They just arrived. Put your costume back on and everything will be hunky-dory. Okay, but what about you? Me? <laughs> Sam, I have nothing to worry about. The Living Stones have taken me in as their own. <laughs> <laughs> you can come out now. I caught your wild animal. Hey, huh? let him go this instant. That's our fox. We called you about a wild boar. A, there is no wild boar here. And B, housing wild animals is forbidden by law and foxes are no exception. Sorry, at your service, sir. Oh no, our poor little fox. And what about Wash? Imagine the shock he'll have when he finds out that his buddy has disappeared. They were getting on so well. Hang on, where is Wash? Wash? Washington! Wash! Yeah! 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 Sorry for yourselves. You'd be better off racking your brains to find out some way of getting them out of there. The pound truck is still sitting right outside. You have the suits? Huh? Yeah! Come on, start now, will you? Yeah! 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 What? Hazelnut You see that, honey? It's like Eugenie is trying to tell us something. I think you're right. She's doing a TV rebus. I love them. Right, focus. There's a dog, a prison, a truck. What does it mean? <laughs> the, the animal, animal pound. pound! Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have picked up a dog this morning by any chance. A dog? No, nothing today but your fox. Can we just make sure? Uh, yeah, okay. sure. At your service, ma'am. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you were right, Sam. I should have never taken my costume off. I promise that next time, I'll listen to you. When you're finished with hugging and kissing, we still haven't started my game yet. Ready for Super Eugenie TV Rebus? Here we go! The boar is a wild animal. Stop, Eugenie! Don't stop channels! be domesticated. The boar could turn into the perfect family pest. You see? Maybe I could try again. Just ask it. No! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. <gasps> Do you see what I see, Wash? I've never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. Someone could see you. <laughs> no, come on. We're alone. Wow, a shark! A shark? Where, where? Where, where? You don't see anything. Oh, that was just to get you out. <clears throat> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. 
Now come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope. I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> Is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one! It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids, let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Uh, or rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! <laughs> uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the Living Stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! <laughs> flies, perhaps, but flies who love me! <laughs> you and I are gonna get rid of those flies! Guys, let's go outside. It's far too noisy in here. Mist. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. <laughs> if those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast.
This brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to... Well, well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Hey! Someone ate my dinner! Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah? Yeah. Your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. We have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of the... Well, you know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. Well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. If only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. Let's go! Where are we going? We're abandoning the flies in the forest so that they can't find Sam. Hey, that reminds me of a fairy tale. Faster! Faster! They're gonna catch up with us! Hey, how about that? My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> oh no, not him! No! Uh, hi there, Mitch. Hey, didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here! Uh. Help me, my beloved flies! That bear wants to separate us! Huh? Huh? There's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know. But it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise I will never, ever forget you. Again, promise Sam? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow! Meow! Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? <laughs> Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibblebick, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24-7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm going to help you. We're going to turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat. Okay? <laughs> Doing here. We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a photo. You uh. this is an ad for kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Meow, meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. She's a knockout! No, no, no! Too wishy-washy. Next! <laughs> Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. She stays for sure. Next! <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible! Hilarious! We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way! <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it! I'll go take a look through there! But the window's open! Let me go! Wait, Susie, stop! Taste test! Take it away! Eat your kibble! <laughs> I 
love the fat funny cat. He's our guy. Take five, everybody. Then we roll. Here's the funny cat that won. Where is he? It's you, Sam. You won. Me? But I'm not fat. But I know I sure am funny. <laughs> this audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, Eugenie! Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam! Quick! Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can! Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security! We just lost our new kibble star. Can you do something? Okay, we'll, we'll take, take care of it! I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade. Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. It's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam. Another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along! If Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his! A uh, boy! I knew you were just a silly bumpkin! Your days in advertising are over, sunshine! What's going down? It's coming from there! There! A boy with a doll! Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look, it's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? <gasps> he smiled at me! Huh? Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course. With pleasure. My fans mean everything to me. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me, we'll soon change that. <laughs> Solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing here? Why are you taking your costume <laughs> off, Sam? <laughs> you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mom's the word. 
Security! Anyone in there? Hey! Isn't, isn't that the fat cat, cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty cat, cat. You're, you're coming along with us! us. Hey! Wasn't, wasn't that, that the dog, dog who was hanging out with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, Oscar. <laughs> and cut! That's our boy, awesome. A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. Uh, I'll get you back for this. <laughs> Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the Campbell with Crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? <sighs> it's Oscar! <sighs> we have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. <laughs> Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. Ah! The stick has feet! Good thing the narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> Well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, You will be the king of disguise! <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog! Oh, one thing I'll say. You sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow! You are awesome when it comes to making authentic looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof! 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 Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? <laughs> They're coming. Balls in your court. Woof, woof. Is that box there yelping? Puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Boy, am I ever annoyed. You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. So, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're going to be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. <laughs> you are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one. Thank you! Washington found what cutie pies! But 
Whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing. We're going to take great care of you, darlings. You must be starving. I'm going to take care of that on the double. Hello, yours are the little boys. Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried away? Shh, not here, not in front of the puppies. Yeah, I know, Napoleon. No, Jean-Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. I'm so happy the Livingstones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after them for a sec? I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are definitely the queens of disguise. Whee! And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out. Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah, somebody's gotta eat Eugenie and Susie's kibble too. Uh, girls, it's great, you won. But now you're going to take off those costumes. Immediately! You're just jealous, because we're the queens of the sky. For sure! And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true. They are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. <laughs> I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So unfair! I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. They warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Yeah. Well, she's, uh, uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! Eugenie? Eugenie! Eugenie! Oh, she disappeared! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and Jean Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. What? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. <laughs> uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the King of Disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared 
for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! My beloved sister! Those little monsters! <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! She's floating! I want to see the turtle be a submarine! I Get to and uh, since that's a uh, water and all. Kind of like Sam, them. they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I... I, I yeah, I, I, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, uh, uh what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tomorrow. Don't get up to anything naughty. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Whatever could go wrong. A whole weekend alone! Awesome! <laughs> this is gonna be the longest weekend of the year. Yeah, we can sit in front of the TV and eat everything we want. And above all, we can totally hang loose. <laughs> what an overpowering odor! Straight from the forest floor! Really? Maybe it's time to clean our outfits. You sure, Wash? Remember last time, it didn't go well at all. Yep, but this time, I found the instructions, so everything's gonna be hunky-dory. It's easy, you'll see. Any fox cub could do it. I can't wait to see this. With you around, generally the word easy means catastrophe. There we go. Now, I just have to press this little boy. <laughs> awesome. I know how low you guys can sink, but this time you 
you've really excelled yourself, Wash. You don't believe it. What am I gonna do with this? Hmm, you could play dolls. I don't understand what happened. That machine is completely nuts. The Living Stones have to get a new one. All we can do now is um, order new costumes. <laughs> nice try, Susie. I don't like to be the one to tell you, but dogs don't bark like that. Believe me, it takes years of experience like I've had to pull it off right. wouldn't have missed this for the world. And it's so much more fun than being a bird disguised as a bird. Order placed. Our new costumes arrive tomorrow. Until then, we can just take it easy and enjoy... A TV Marathon! I'm done with dance routines. Let's see what else there is. We are very honored today to have Professor Jones in the studio, the well-known hunter and collector of rare species and unusual specimens. His museum contains wonders of the animal world, many unfamiliar to man. Wow! So, Professor, what do you make of this footage of a small flying dog that has gone viral on social media? <laughs> is it a hoax or is it a genuine scientific discovery? I'm not quite sure. But what we do know is that evidence of this legendary creature's existence can be found in many sources. Sometimes it plays a role of messenger to the heavens, but in later writings it appears as a retriever of sacred flying discs and as an archivist of bones. <laughs> Joking aside, if the creature does exist, you can be sure I shall track it down and you'll have all the answers you need. Everybody saw it! And now there's a unicorn hunter who's coming to get you! Yeah, you're sure to be a big hit in his unusual specimen gallery. Okay, let's not go overboard. He'll never be able to track us down. You reckon, Washington? Then what is that outside? <laughs> he would have recognized the house from the video. He's good. I don't want to be stuffed. Quick, you gotta get that costume off, Susie. Why? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hands off! I don't want to take off my new costume. I want to stay being a dog. <laughs> Just when I thought you can sink any lower. You're on your own here, guys. Uh-oh, uh sounds like it's coming from the garden. For cover! Yeah. Hmm. The owners must have gone away for the weekend. Good. I can set up my equipment. Hmm. Atrocious craftsmanship. That fox has a ridiculous face. And such coarse fur. Well, anyway, I have a job to do. Time to get moving, old fellow. Huh? What do you mean I have coarse fur and a ridiculous face? What are we going to do? He's gonna come back. We can't stay in the house. You're right, Eugenie. We have to get outside. We'll go hide in the garden shack. <laughs> when he notices there's nobody in the house, he'll leave. In the meantime, we have to get that costume off again. <laughs> Ever forget Susie? And we forgot 
to have dinner. I'm starving. Totally, totally starving. Oh, I'll never be able to hold out. Well, we don't have much choice. We have to get back inside that house and find Susie before Professor Jones does. Infrared check. Movement sensors check. Gamma rays check. Garden and house traps check. Hmm, that flying dog will never escape my clutches. Nobody move! Jones thinks he's clever, but little does he know he's dealing with an expert in cutting-edge laser technology. <laughs> Smooth move, expert! Movement detected. Run! Take cover! <laughs> Sam! Come back! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna skip a meal! Dog is mine! Hi, oh my! Sam has fallen asleep in his kibble bowl! Again! Mm -hmm. Let's go! We're the only ones who can save them now! Yay! Susie! Target defined. House cat. A Volga house cat? <laughs> time to pull out the heavy artillery. This time you won't get away. No dog can resist this. Not even a flying dog. Calm down, girls. We still have to get rid of Professor Jo- huh? mm -hmm. uh, You'll see if I'm a real dog or not, Water! Uh, Susie! Come back! There must be a trap! <laughs> no! Susie! <laughs> At last! Soon this flying dog will be stuffed and exhibited in my museum. <laughs> What are we gonna do to save Susie? And where Sam disappeared to? <sighs> I must have died and gone to heaven. What? What on earth? Are you sure this is really necessary? Incredible! I've hit the jackpot. What fantastic specimens! They must be mine! Use this diversion tactic to release Susie from the truck. I'll go look for Sam indoors! <coughs> Sam! It's me! Quick! We gotta reach Susie and Eugenie before Jones arrives! That's enough flying dogs for one day. Phew! Right, let's get out of here. What? <laughs> a fox, two balls, and a blackbird? I've never seen anything so mundane. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Uh -huh. A flying snake has been detected in the southern region of... A dragon! Shoot! <laughs> How dare he call us mundane? Here we go! Our new costumes have arrived! Uh, oh. uh, maybe I got the sizes wrong. I don't believe it! You see that? It fits like a glove! I've always dreamed of being a bird! I can fly! I never thought you guys could sink quite so low, but looks like I got it wrong again. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... Don't you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? around. Oops. That's so sweet of you, Mrs. Livingstone. Thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! Oh, a cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah, 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 Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah, <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <gasps> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. But you better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, wow, super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cut here, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah, Precisely. And that's great. why Donald isn't sneezing. And why his highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cats have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddle! <laughs> <laughs> hey, <it's so laughs> weird. You've got a big metal scar in your chest. I was operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. <laughs> Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Uh, why 
going on? I like that Groot. Because he's going to figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't want to go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're going to have rain every day. <laughs> Together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog! <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go! <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? Enough is enough! Come on! Let's go play doctor! <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy! You're gonna ruin my kid again! <laughs> Washington! Stop oh, it, God. will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> Never find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How oh, I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. The answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. Way 
lighter than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not Sam! Meow? And that's not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! <laughs> to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to get you cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. And can you lend us a towel and a hairdryer? Get out of the costume, Hey, Thank your paw! Hey. Hurry up! Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? <laughs> Oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Who work in supermarkets throw out perfectly good food into the garbage? Uh-huh. Why in the world would they do that? Go figure, Sam. You know humans, always doing really bizarre things. Shouldn't we have asked the girls to give us a hand? Nah, this is our treasure, Sam. Just for the two of us. There it is. We're gonna put everything in the cart and bring it back to the yard. <laughs> Huh? What do these two deadbeats want? Yeah, uh, we uh, want to get the leftovers from the supermarket. Cause this happens to be our dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. Let me make things clear. This entire street is my turf. Maybe we could share, like 50-50? Nah, we never share with losers. Say what? What do they mean by losers? Losers, hmm, let's see, how should I say this? You, for example, with your tacky costumes, well, you're losers. And they yeah. are the exact opposite. They're cool. Huh? Those guys? They're cool? Oh, oh yeah! yeah! They're hipsters! The coolest guys in the world! Have you ever heard of zipsters? But they do weird things, no? And why shouldn't they? You know, when you're cool, you're allowed to do anything. Totally. Hipsters impose their coolitude. <sighs> they absolutely rule the city. Sam, I've got a plan so we can get our treasure out of the dumpster. We become Zipsters. But I thought we were losers. <laughs> now that's going to change. Once we become Zipsters, we'll be so cool that Fang will be dying to share with us. Mm -hmm. And what if he refuses? Then we'll help ourselves. After all, Zipsters are allowed to do anything. <laughs> this Zipster kit I ordered on the net is just awesome. Ooh. Ooh. We're almost there, Sam. Are you sure? Zipster, Sam. <laughs> you sure about that? Absolutely. Maybe we should take the guide to being a perfect Zipster, no? Nah, don't need it. Just look how cool we are. So? Mm -hmm. I'm 
hesitating between ridiculous and hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into them? It looks like they're making fun of us. Nah, no way. It's just that we've got the look, but not the attitude. Remember what the girls said, zipsters impose coolitude. They're allowed to do anything. We gotta impose, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, girls, but we wanna watch something else. <laughs> hey, are you nuts or what? Who do you think you are, anyway? A zipster. <laughs> you mind, Vic? <laughs> Thank you! Hey, have you gone totally wacko? Don't you dare put your butt on my pillow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't get it. I thought they just loved Zipsters. They think we're fake Zipsters. No, oh, it's because they know our beards are fake. If nobody takes us seriously, Fang will never give us our share of the food. Of course. Once we're outside, nobody will know these are fake beards. And this time, we're gonna follow the guide to being a perfect Zipster. You see, Sam, in order to pass ourselves off as perfect Zipsters, we gotta do cool stuff like that. Mm. Our turn to play. <laughs> hey, those are ours! <laughs> Who are those two bozos? <laughs> who has to look out, buddy, because we are Zipsters! <laughs> well, how do you stop this thing? Uh, you know those guys? Hmm, wouldn't be Wash and Sam Livingstone, would it? Impossible! Sam and Wash don't have beards! They, they stole, stole our bikes! bikes. What are you doing? We didn't steal anything, Sam. We're Zipsters. We impose ourselves, period. It's sure not easy being a Zipster. Yeah, but it's worth it. Check out all our admirers. Hmm. <laughs> Stop! think you are anyway. It's absolutely forbidden for pets to make little kids cry. Where did you come from? Yeah, uh, there? Yeah, well, we know the animals who live there, and they're nothing at all like you. Especially Wash, who is more handsome, more intelligent, more... Yeah, right. Uh. Total nonsense. As for you two guys... <laughs> <laughs> And don't even dream of ever stepping a foot in here again, you bubs. <sighs> Sam, can you believe it? We look so much like Zipsters that nobody can recognize us. Do you realize what the future has in store for us? Yeah, cool stuff. Way better, Sam. A future without our costumes. Since no one recognizes us anymore, there's no reason to hide. Yeah. a level of ultimate zipstertude, Sam. We rule the city, so now's the moment to go find Fang and recover what is rightfully ours from that dumpster. <laughs> hey, yo, hip cats. Mm -hmm. How's about going 50-50 on the dumpster with me and my main dude here? <laughs> yeah? And why would I do that? Cause we have become zipsters. Zip what? 
Zipsters, dude! Isn't our look sufficient proof? What are they doing? We are doing the knee jerk, which is not something for losers. That's right, Fang. And now we belong to the club that rules the city. More like fools of the city, I'd say. <laughs> fools? I thought we were zipsters. Of course we are. And since Fang doesn't want to share, we're going to impose. <laughs> Hey there, you clowns. Didn't you hear? <laughs> but they're, they're wild beasts. Ah! Let me alive! <laughs> and to think the solution was in front of our snouts the whole time. All we had to do was be ourselves. The wild ones! <laughs> why didn't we think of that sooner? Ah! That's probably why we didn't think of it sooner. My lettuce smoothie! Huh? Where did they put their costumes? Come on, I got an idea! <laughs> and to think that we barely even got to taste the life of a zipster! Like that lettuce smoothie? Blah. What in the heck are those critters? Looks like a rabbit and a canary wearing beards. Unbelievable! Don't move. I've got to take a photo for my Instagram account. <coughs> oh, rats, we forgot all about our wild animals. <coughs> yeah. Phew, that was a close call. So, who's the coolest now, huh? Way to go, girls. Thanks a ton. But you can get rid of your beards now. Enough zipstering for one day. Girls? Those zipsters are girls with beards? And to thank you, we have decided to share our treasure with you. At least the zipster effect helped us get rid of Fang. <laughs> yeah, more like the no costume effect. <laughs> Boy, what a bunch of losers. They don't even have beards. And yet, Everybody knows that if you want to be a hip pet, you can't be without one. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Why was I crying again? Um, because I wish I was a cat so I can eat kibble all day long and watch TV. Oh, yeah. Because I wish I was a cat so I can eat TVs and watch kibble. Day long, all? Oh, forget it, Sam. With my magic rainbow, I grant you happiness and wonder. Hmm? Thank you, Eugenie. A unicorn. It's a game. We're only pretending I'm Lily the Unicorn. <laughs> Lily the Unicorn. That's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the Unicorn is amazing! If you say so. Okay, Sam, put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> Oh! 
up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the Living Stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the Living Stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away, and you can say farewell happiness and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit costume in the trash. So from now on, it's unicorn or nothing. We're home. Sam, hold him off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. Where on earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place! Too late! I can't believe it! It's incredible! Have you seen this, sweetie pies? A unicorn! Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey! I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard. Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's Eugenie? Uh, she must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my Hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Kibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. So, who is it that said farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. And here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Huh? What do you mean? <clears throat> Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Honey, <clears throat> Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh. And to begin with, with my magic heart and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi. Give me that remote control! Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Gosh, with my magic horn and rainbow power, let me make your dearest dream come true! I name you Commander of the Remote Control! Mm. Sounds right. Banana pancakes! Win the holiday of a lifetime! And cream sauce with broccoli and... Sam, don't sulk. You heard what Gigi said. No. trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Pop mm -hmm. up. <laughs> and what are you gonna do next, you? Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. What? Now you're up to three kibble. <sighs> I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. 
They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like to say Neckerchief is avarice. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? No way! That's not nice. It's not a hat, it's my cravat! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. <laughs> no complaining. Cough it up. One kibble in the naughty box. Totally but when everything is said and done, I decided to throw my legs. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's gonna be trouble. Boo hoo hoo, we're so afraid. <laughs> you know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. He started it. Ah, 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 give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace, mm -hmm. or else. You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble like you need. Ah, ah, ah. She's watching us, quick, let's be peaceful. But that is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstergram. <laughs> How horrific! You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever can that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. What is going on here? Uh, a wild animal? I'm calling the dog pound. Uh. Oh. Hello, animal pound. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. Give me all the kibble I can eat. Sam, there are worse matters at hand. If you're hungry, eat this. Thanks, Wash. Eugenie's costume. She hid it in her magic horn. I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Genie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere. Nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! Huh, that's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool. Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. 
So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> wow! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Rush! <laughs> so, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. Huh? <laughs> Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? It's awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new kibble extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones. Nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected mm -hmm. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bastet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 Guys, he's here! Sam! What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam! You're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. <laughs> I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell. And kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Wash, are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop! It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> And what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian Tag. Sam, if we play Tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yeah! Mmm, delicious! 
Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The secret cat he was, he left even the dogs in awe. Left even the dogs in awe? Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses, and this is her descendant, Samses the second. Glory be to Samses the second, goddess of the heavens. Wash, Samses the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samzies 2? <laughs> It's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this'll have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies 2 is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> Dang, such a thing in front of your very own sister's terrible! <laughs> you alone with your too small statue, I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Hi. snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and, uh... Be right back! Ah! Ah! Honey? Did you hear all that ruckus? Honey! Uh, there's somebody in the living room! No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? <sighs> Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just a friend of the Millwater Four, not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a wild.
child four and three mummies in the living room. Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. <laughs> Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. <laughs> you see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys, you can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yeah! <laughs> and I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But that's extra light kibble. I can't believe it. The Living Stones made a mistake. You really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute. I've nearly finished. Here we go. System activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard. What's a smart home whiz head? No idea. But I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System, your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served! No! Wow! wow. And you haven't seen nothing yet! Oh. <laughs> this is incredible! Yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch. Don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go. Nature sound activated. See you tomorrow morning. This is going to end in tears. Good luck. <laughs> but this is terrible. It's like we're back in the forest. Don't worry, guys, I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature escape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. Okay, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? <laughs> 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 ah, now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? Oops, uh, sorry. Sure, if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Hey, that sounds like. Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? Mm hmm. I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. Mm. No need. I got it covered. <laughs> 
It's okay! I found it! Tropical scape activated! Wow! Is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> yeah, a bit! I'll sort this out in no time! How about we press that big green button there and stop the whole thing? Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. Huh? I think my costume is melting, Wash. <laughs> Alert! Toxic matter detected! Quarantine commencing! Disinfection of premises! Five, four, three... Quarantine complete! Uh-oh! Quick, hide! What was that alarm? Never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Oh. Come here, you sleepyhead. Uh oh. I think we got a tiny problem. Do you know we're wild animals? No, Sam. We're locked outside. Oh no! No costumes, no kibble! <laughs> Stop! You'll wake up the whole neighborhood! But what are we gonna do? Breathe deeply, everything is gonna be fine, and let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are gonna get on great. Hi, Mirage, I'm Washington. Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. But you gonna open up? You disconnected, I'm gonna jump! Is this some kind of joke? It's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. Come on! Big button on the wall! 
Situation critical. Remote control disabled. Contacting owner. Get inside that house, but where's Sam? Hello? Hello? Can you hear us, Susie? We've lost her. There's no network. Mm. We have no choice. We have to get inside that house now. On three we go. One, two... Wait, wait, wait. How about five instead? Good idea. You're right. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. went crazy! Where are our poor little darlings? My dear little angels, you must have been terrified! For sure! I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week! Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that, then? Um. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. <clears throat> oh, no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! Mr. Livingstone? Hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat, Tom, is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not 
Oh, Sam! That's incredible! Sam has a boar cat twin! Not a twin! That's a real cat! That just so happens to look exactly like Sam! We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question! That is my cat! He belongs to me and I want him! I want my Tom right this minute! <laughs> so, Sam, you're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him! Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him, that's all! How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast! If our let takes Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus Sam for the next three weeks. My share of kibble and just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. <laughs> so what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen him or not? Mm. Okay, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I gonna let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is! He's the one who stole my entire sardine and all of stock! Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. Oh. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I know what I saw! Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! I keep doing stuff I didn't do! This is horrible! Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is, you're the one getting the stick! I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him! Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. That's okay, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. We're brother and sister. I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always managed to hide food on yourself. And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys near the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa, but this is incredible. Who are you? You could be my twin brother. Look, we've got the same paws. <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears. <laughs> uh <clears throat> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home! Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> Incredible! The resemblance is so amazing! You didn't say that Arlette was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew! So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief! Let's celebrate. Here's a treat for all of you. Not you, Tom. You could choke or have an allergic reaction. Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. This won't last for long. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations. Your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom. <laughs> Time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. All mine. Oh, 
Oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. <laughs> No deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? It's me! Right, I'm Sam! Look at my droopy Sam walk! Oh, I know! <laughs> you cut your whiskers! <laughs> Phew! You've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way, there's no risk of you choking. <laughs> well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> Oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Oops, I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop <sighs> that. Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar. If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat. Oh, no, Tom took Sam's place. Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did. We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him? Yes. We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. <laughs> and who do we have here? Yeah! Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't. Sam, if you don't give us back what you owe us, we're going to... You don't want to know what we're going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. <sighs> right here. I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good-hearted. <sighs> you found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move. Mm -hmm. I'll go. <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> Tom, Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. A... <laughs> a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! Where? From that big bad wolf. All that time I thought I was protecting you, when in fact you are the one who protects me. <laughs> We're back together. We're back together. We're back together. What's all this dancing about? They're together all the time. We're back together. We're back together. We're back together. <laughs> Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam, no! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ah, what a beautiful day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You! Stop! We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share it. Share it, share it, share it! <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, no! Sam! Sorry, Wash. Don't worry. It's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, well, what? Nothing happened! And now, all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow. Just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey! That looks like Alvarez! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves Afghan beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. Huh? I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Uh. No, no, it it sounds. I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room! Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready! Quick, Wash! They're here! Be extra careful, Wash! Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. We're, We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm not gonna last long at this. <laughs> Okay, 
Time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's our lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> Get him, Alvy! We're going to get him, Alvy! Go on faster! <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad! I've got to get home at once! Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am! came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise! And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad! <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, uh, Sir Fox ha Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P.U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me. And tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me. Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh, but then... What do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox of a red Why the gold can? We gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him. That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey? That cat has never, ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. How's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter. I am so proud of you. There he is! Mm -hmm. 
Yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hunter Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap. Wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. And next time, vengeance will be ours, amigo. First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program. Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house. Whoa, what is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome. You think he wants to surprise the Living Stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! Oh, no. Why'd he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. Duh! I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the Living Stones a surprise? Oh, yeah! yeah. You'll see! It'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes! I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh! If your plan was to surprise the Living Stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh, no, no, no! Not our costumes! No! So that wasn't the plan, then? Wow! I dig the new costumes! Groovy! I want one, too! And me! No, they're not groovy at all. Quick, we have to wash our costumes straight away. <laughs> Lucky the Living Stones have gone out for the day. Yoo We're back already. Oh, those spots. What are they? Honey, come quickly. I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease. Ah, you're hideous. Quick, let's get the Yoo dick <laughs> How troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Ugh. We've got to get them out of there and fast! Come on, let's try the window! I don't want to go back to the forest! In the rain? In the cold? No kibble? 
no TV, no roast chicken. Oh, oh, Sam, give me a hand here. A small bar of soap. Okay, plan B. We gotta get out of here. Vladimir, ah! you can go on lunch break later. It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning, and I do believe you have sick animals to attend to. Okay. So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? Phew. I'm gonna lock this door, Vladimir. Know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Bush? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No. I don't know yet. We need a sick. There you go. What was I telling you, huh? You. We're here. Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welma won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. <laughs> they have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> well, uh, put on a pair of gloves. <sighs> Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> there we go. Quarantine. Well done, Vladimir. Uh, Don't move. I'll go see who it is. What? How on earth there did you... There we go! Mission accomplished! Your day has come at last, Vladimir! Acute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens! Fame and glory will be yours! All yours! Gl glory Oh, well, ma. organizing a press conference within the hour, and we're gonna show the world and its greatest specialists what this extremely dangerous virus is about. An extremely dangerous virus? I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've gotta get out of here and fast. <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage isn't locked like mine. All you have to do is push it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so that that put me in a special cage. But if you lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm. I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat! Meow! Meow! And I hate dogs! Uh, everything okay there, buddy? <laughs> Like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden.
his message in all this? Enough! That box going crazy! I got it, dog, and I'm not crazy! What's going on, Velma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah! They're going to contaminate us! Vladimir! Duty is calling, Vladimir! Your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now. Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir. Be a man and show some guts! You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. Easy now, easy. You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a... Sam, don't give away our secret. A uh, cat. Hey, I'm actually a cat, too. Meow. Meow. Yeah, so are we. You all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined. Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tails. A uh, dog? I hate dogs! Video conference activated. Hello? 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 Mushy, mushy. <laughs> What just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! <laughs> Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hurry, honey! We'll be late for the yard sale! Coming! <laughs> I was just feeding our lovable little furballs. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good! Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Nick, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. Alvarez, <laughs> 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 what have you done to him, you maniac? No, it's not Alvarez. It's our master's own zip zip. Hilarious, huh? Whoa, awesome. It's just like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez Jellyfish Dominoes! <laughs> Excellent! Hey, Sam, go on. Tell us what his majesty has on his mind. 
What a disgusting stink! Do you ever think to wash your mouth odor is my big fur? Okay, I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> You can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished cat nap to complete. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Ah! What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you! Mm -hmm. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! you hear, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. No? What are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, 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 Elmo. <laughs> Satisfied now? A cut! Ha 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 ha! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> Doc, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. No! No! I don't. I don't believe it! It isn't me! Sure it is! It is you! It's all because of the curse of Victoria! She transformed you into a cat! <laughs> but that is ridiculous! Yeah, well if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again! Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! <laughs> hey, my costume! Where's it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it. Hey, guys. <gasps> what happened to your legendary sense of humor? Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no. Why? Oh no! The Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez! Alvarez? Yes. I've got to talk to Victoria! It's urgent! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Huh? That wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> <laughs> Vic! You stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. 
stupid wash. Wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the bird. He must know how to put an end to this curse. What if it contaminates us? We'll start barking too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, Animal Pal. Helper is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> Wala -la -la -la! The lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. But I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious. But uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way. Wash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. Ah! Is that me? I, I don't believe it. It's me, but I'm me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! Ah! It's my costume. Oh, with this suit, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Wow! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog. Obviously, a dog is for life. 